Oh, so I was going to talk about this on TikTok, but I didn't have time when I was in Nashville. But something that's really cool is, like, a couple months ago, like, my friend Andy Downs, like, I met her not last December, but the December before at Passion. And she is absolutely incredible, one of my favorite people. And I went to um, one of her events, like, last year, and she's, like, she does a really good podcast, right? And I remember, like, sitting at her podcast event, and I, like, I, like took a picture with a cardboard cut out of her, like, pretending like I was holding a microphone, like, pretending like I was, like, being featured on her podcast. And then flash forward to two days ago, she had invited me and my brother to be on her podcast, and it was, like, just a cool moment for me because... Like, there's been so many times in my life, uh, especially growing up, like, I always felt like, and I don't know if you guys have ever felt like this, but I'm just going to share with you all for a second. I, growing up, was a terrible kid, and, like, I was never really wanted, like, by, like, friends or anything, because I was horrible. Like, I wouldn't want me to be at their house either. But growing up, like, I really didn't understand why people didn't want me around as much as I should have, and I literally, like, when I got older and I kind of got over that phase, like, I still carried feeling not worthy enough to be around people with me right and you know that really like leaked into every area of my life it's just a feeling of not feeling wanted or feeling second or feeling like I was always burdening people and it leaked onto my relationship with God and so I always felt like God loved men with the butterflies I always felt like God was for everyone else and that maybe he loved me but it just wasn't like I wasn't his first choice I wasn't like good enough for him and I never felt like equipped to walk in the calling that he had for me or worthy enough of it. And that's why my first, one of my first sweatshirts was called worthy because one night God told me like, Allie, I'm so over you acting like you're not worthy of my love. You were so worth it for me that I sent my son to die for you. And that's not just for me, but I want you guys to know that are dealing with this. Like that is his promise for your life. And that night when I was crying in my bed, like bawling my eyes out because another guy that I like, like rejected me, like I remember God saying that over me. Yo, Sparky, thank you so much for the whale diving. But God spoke that over me that night, and I believe that was a message that he gave not just to me, but for you guys. So I hope you all are encouraged by that. But long story short, um, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about how you're equipped to walk in the calling that God has for you. And I just wanted to encourage you guys of that, that it doesn't matter how many times before in your life, thank you so much, Rebecca, that you believed, hi, C, thank you, girl, that you believed that you were not good enough, that you didn't feel worthy enough for God's love, that you felt like you were left out of everything or unwanted. God wants you. He's not only wanting you, but he said you were so worth it that he sent his son to die for you so he could have that connection with you. Remember how I was talking about earlier, like how we're made to be connected with God, but how there's a divide between us so it makes us feel empty. That is exactly what, Jesus died for. So that door between us, of imperfect people and a perfect God could be broken down and restored. And God cared about you so much. He sent his son to break that down so he could be in relationship with you. All you have to do is accept that gift that Jesus died for you and live in connection with God, right? And when you do, like, I'm telling y'all right now, like, it's going to change your entire life. All you have to do is say, God, I thank you for what you've done. Lord, I want a relationship with you. I, I believe Jesus is my savior. And change my heart. Be the Lord of my life. That's all you have to say. Praise him right now. Like literally, it's as easy as that. That wall is broken. Your purpose is restored. Your eternity is sealed. Like in heaven. It's just God begins to work in your life. Heal things inside of you. Just like he did in me that I never knew were there. Of insecurity, of not feeling good enough. And remind me that I am chosen by him. Just like you are. To be chosen means to be selected as the best option. And that's what he says you are in his word, not just the Bible. If you look up like the historical, like so many people are like, oh my gosh, I kind of know the Bible's real. Because if you look up the facts on the Bible, like there were so many manuscripts all around the world, like something crazy that they found in so many different places and they all lined up exactly the same. Like it is proven to be real. Um, history literally proves it. People just don't understand because they don't look into it. And I'm so excited for our family to go to Israel too, because I'm so excited to show you guys, like not just tell you, but to grow me in my faith and show you guys the actual places that Jesus was that people are not talking about. And that so many people are slandering because they just don't understand and they're too ignorant to go look, you know, but long story short, um, I felt like this weekend, 
And when I went and spoke on Annie's podcast, God really told me like, this is the result of you not buying into the lies the enemy said to you. Like you are more than equipped to walk in the calling and the purpose and the identity that God has for you. I don't care what your past looks like. I don't care about what your circumstance looks like. You are more than equipped. God can pull you out of anything. He can restore anything. He can make beauty from ashes with anything. He loves you no matter what you've done. He wants you to surrender. He wants you to repent from what you're doing if it's not aligning with what he wants you to. Not because he wants you to sacrifice fun things, but because he knows what is best for you. And because he knows his plans for you are what actually satisfies not these things that are filling this hole that can never be filled with anything but him. So... That's just something that I feel like he's just been showing me in my life. And I hope that encouraged one of you guys. No, I wasn't. I wasn't really distracted. I was just trying. I was just going through that. But I love it. Uh, Nikki, really, you think I should? I can't believe Jerry's here. Take really, that was amazing. Y'all make sure to go... Um, yeah, go join Allie. There's 544 people in here. Go join Allie and like blow up her live um, with 18 emojis and say we're here to support. She's awesome. She deserves all that love. 